Hi, this is Ronnie, and this is my first video upload in a long time. Two to three years, somewhere around there. And I do have quite a few of them that's on my SD card and my computer. Uh, I had gotten laryngitis, and it lasted like three months. And I finally ended up having to take a steroid orally, plus I had to have a inhaler that had steroids and not talk for a month to get rid of it but I s started accumulating videos that didn't have a voiceover and apparently I did some later too and did not have voiceovers but I decided I was gonna pull them out and put the voiceovers on them and upload them and this one here is using Pink Paisley's Outfitters and I had gotten a peachy cheap deal with a 6x6 and uh, ephemera and different things and then I ordered a few page uh, 12 by 12 page uh, sheets to go with it my background I used a uh, gray cardstock on this and um, I believe it was I'm pretty sure it was probably American crafts cardstock and here I am uh, took a piece of the green plaid paper and it um, matches the green pad above at the top of my 6x6 uh, six six paper pad and I put it on there and now I'm going to put some uh, twine and glue it down. Um, I'm sure I wanted to do something different why I did it then. Oh and I had lots of trouble with my ATG gun. I cut as much of it as I could out. Hopefully that's the only one you're going to see because I apparently missed that part. It kept breaking on me and I finally got it where it didn't I think towards the middle of the video. And I love that piece of paper right there. And so I only used half of it, well not even quite half of it, maybe a third of it on this layout and I did do cut out a few pieces later but I wanted to make sure I had enough to put on another layout since I liked it so well and this collection is like awesome um it of course is pretty much a boy uh themed one and it's towards camping and travel and since my grandson here is putting gas in the car and his mama uploaded it to um facebook and i took it and made a scrapbook page out of it uh this paper here is k and company and I don't even know if they're still in business. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but this was from a very long time ago, probably 15 years ago. And I got a paper pad. And the paper is thin, but it's embossed. And this one here was stripes, uh, lines embossed. And some of them had, um, each color had the same embossing textures as the next color and there would be I'm thinking it was two pages for each embossing technique and so you got several of each and when I seen this color in that paper right there I remembered it because I used this a few times this color and I wanted to use it on the layout and have a little bit of embossing peeking out there and um, see what else oh and I do have a little bit of a long title and I do like long titles. And this one is uh, a tank full of fun and adventure. I had to make the screen big to see what the last word was because I couldn't tell on this little screen that you get a look at while you're video, edi video, video editing. Can't even talk. Um, but you couldn't see it th that way. I couldn't tell for sure what it was. And I do back some of these pieces in black, and he does have black on in his picture. And there is some, well, the black in the paper is kind of, you know, it's, you can tell it's darker than the gray in the background, but it's not quite as black as the cardstock that I used. And, uh, but I wanted to bring a little black out and add a little drama on there. And so I will be doing it to a few more of the pieces to, uh, bring the, make them show up a little bit more and I wanted to use some more of 
that paper. Uh, I did cut the center out there so I'd have some to use and use in the layout and um, I made a flag out of that. And I'm not exactly sure what this tag says completely because I couldn't, uh, even with the screen up higher, it just did the pixelization ended up kind of bad so I couldn't tell. But I know uh, Get Lost is, is um, on that uh, piece right down there of ephemera. And I think it's let's not get lost is what I have on there uh, because I put not on in a minute. So I think it says something about let's not get lost. And um, this is where I cut out a little bit of that. Try, I tried to pick and choose, I think, on there because I still have that piece and I still have not used it for the next layout. I know what picture I want to use with it. Uh, a trip my other grandson went on, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, he, I talked to him this weekend, and he's supposed to upload to the cloud the pictures from that trip. And the, I just want to use it for the very first one, which I already have that one. But um, I want the rest of them so I can put them in an album for him, because it's a trip to Washington, D.C., and I want to give him that for Christmas. That's why I called and told him I really need those. It's been a few years. <laughs> it's been a while. And But see there it says not. So I think it's and not get lost. And look like I was erasing something. I probably got ink or something on there. Oh, there's the ink. Now, uh, I have looked at this video, watched it because I had to refresh my brain on this since it's been so long since I did it and I'm thinking when I saw myself do that I thought why am I doing that I, thought, I don't think I remember that on the layout and I have gave the layout away so I have no pictures at the end and uh, it went in an album um, but you can see right there I have probably flipped the card you know we pulled it all off and flipped the cardstock over and the ink is on the other side because it's not on this side anymore. So apparently that was not a good idea and I wasn't happy with it when I got done with it. But uh, everything is back on here and we're back on track. Uh, that's a geo tag, and um, I do not know where they were going. It's one of those posts where they just post it and don't say too much is except we're on our way <laughs> and I found it later so you know she wasn't sure which picture it was so I I'm not sure but they were she, they were she said she thought they were on some day trip and it was early in the morning and they were getting gas but she wasn't 100 percent sure I am taking the sticky off the back of this uh, so I could when I do put it on there I can add uh, I'm pretty I forgot to turn the light back on must have walked away and came back uh, when I do put it on there that I have some dimensional tape and lift it up and not have everything flat there and I'm adding it black again up there and I do have several banners up there I like using banners on boy pages of course I do like using them on girl pages too but especially boy pages uh, I try to be a little more creative and I am I, I do I, I do do one banner different on here and make it a little bit more creative i instead of doing a fishtail banner i do an arrow point banner i think that's what they're called and uh, there are my layers and i'm clipping off the excess and there that goes back on there again and my dimensional tape i see i was pretty sure i was going to add dimensional tape to that and that says right r-i-g-h-t i was able to see that when i made it so, but I don't know what the round part, round sticker says. Not quite sure on that. And this is where I add the arrow pointed banner and uh, put it in the back so it matches the other part. So we'll bring in the same pattern pieces together. And I love this layout because it has so much variety as far as patterns go. And they all go together. That's one good thing about buying a collection. Everything goes together. And you don't have to do much work to it. You just put it 
all on your paper and it still looks good and not sure what I'm doing here I think I oh I'm getting some stars I, I thought maybe I was getting some more twine but I don't I guess not and I got these stars from Tin Lizzie here on YouTube and I have used them on I don't know how many layouts she got me two or three packages and I've used them on layouts over and over again and they're puffy and they're just awesome and the asterisk that I used on there that was a planner um, it came like two sheets in a package and I bought two packages at Hobby Lobby on clearance and I've slowly been using them but uh, it was like a dark uh, blue color almost a black and so I used them on here and that's my twine to go with the twine that I used on the other part of the layout and I think that's it I think uh, this is where I slow the video down well not so much it's more the speed that I actually am and I went slow to start with on the video so I could show it off but since I didn't have any pictures to go at the end I slowed it back to the normal speed and since I was going slower showing it y'all get to see it just a little bit better but that's my layout and I want to thank you all so very much for watching and hopefully I'll get some more voiceovers done thank you bye